What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Mikey Pipes. Thanksgiving morning. I'm at my shop. I just put a video on YouTube announcing that we're giving away money to help people in need this morning on Thanksgiving. My phone rings. Someone's got no heat. They got a burn and boiler. And I'm heading out there right now. Good morning, sir. I'm all right. How are you? Here's my, uh, here's my card. Okay. Since everyone loves stickers, you got a sticker too. Seventy-seven. Yeah. You normally keep it that hot. Well, oh, it doesn't. It doesn't get hot. You know, I need it. It doesn't get hot. What do you mean it doesn't get hot? The pipes. What do you hot. normally keep the heat set to? Normally at seventy-two, but then recently I, I think that you know, at seventy-two it just <clears throat> it just wouldn't even run. Okay. Out. So uh, your boiler is uh, powered. And according to the temperature gauge, you're at uh, about 180 degrees of temperature. Right. So you have uh, sufficient pressure, it looks like, as long as that tri decay gauge is correct. You have two circulators. One circulator is for your main heating zone. The other circulator is for your indirect water heater, which provides domestic hot water. The first circulator, the one with the lights on it, that's a, a, a ECM circulator. It's, it's getting power and it's running. You're talking about this one. Well, it's only running with one gallon per minute, though, and, and zero gallons per minute. But I'm willing to wager that your uh, your circulator probably decided to take a dump on Thanksgiving Day because you have hot water. Yeah. And let's see if we change this setting. Does it change anything? I'm willing to wager you got a bad circulator. See what it does. Goes away. Yeah, you got a bad circulator. Yeah, really. Let's see what direction. Uh, it's, this is the supply side. That's interesting. And is this one the same way? That's also supply, so this would be the return. And the return. Did you have any work done on your heating system yesterday or recently where it was anything was drained or disconnected or mm -hmm. ba baseboard was changed, plumber was here, anything like that? Uh -huh. Well, similar situation happened about a month ago. I have somebody else came in. I don't know what he did. He, he, he said he was, uh, he didn't change anything, but he said it might be something with the thermostat because the thermostat is calling for heat. Okay. Well, it's not. you need a new thermostat, a uh, new uh, circulator. And boiler feed valve, close that as well. Let's close this let's close that let's close this let's close that let's close this let's close everything we got here we don't got to drain everything we're gonna drain down this boiler there's no valves on the indirect there's a drain on the indirect but no isolation valves for return piping so I sprayed the bolt with some Croil, and this is the Alpha 2. The Alpha 1s we stopped putting in about 10 years ago. Oh, left the Lucy righty tighty, Godzilla. Fun part is going to be cracking the 
the seal and get water. A little bit of pressure. Not much. There we go. See? A little bit of water. Have that drain open just a little bit cracked. Get the water out of this bad boy. All right. A flow check. And there it is. Make sure the surface of the flange is clean. Get the new circ. All right. Our arrow is pointing up. The head is pointing up. Let's get this bad boy in there. in there. Tightening that up, I turned that switch on about five times. And that's why the wire nuts are on the, the circulator line. All right. Um, boiler feed. I found this by looking for the pressure reducing valve. Before that is the backflow preventer. Boiler feed valve. Real shitty installation, if you ask me. There's no air separator. We have a, an air removal valve, but no air separator. Just a real shitty install, if you ask me. Still wiring. Do 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 do
about air. The hell just fell down. Hmm. Oh, I turned off the hot and cold water too, huh? <clears throat> Someone had the water on. Make sure you're protected, you know? All right. Let's see what happens. Keep my hand there. Yeah, I closed before the feet valve. It's hot. All right, we purged multiple times. Um, supply side, this is the isolation valve. This is the purge station. We have that one pipe leaving the boiler for this heating zone. This is the indirect. So this one splits into a couple, two locations. This three quarter inch with the valve to isolate it and this one inch with the valve to isolate it as the supply. The return, we have that three quarter inch with the isolation valve right there. We have the one inch with the isolation valve there and we have boiler feed half inch on the return. So when I was purging, I opened this to manual fill. I closed the opposite side, one inch and then just purge from here with this closed and then did that a few buckets then flipped it to this one with that open this closed vice versa all the air is gone and we have solid orange light we are at eight and our boiler temperature is 103 set point is 180 and we are at 110 and climbing and there's no real means for air removal here and we got a lot of air out of this. And that's the reason why that circulator died because of a horrible installation not following manufacturer's guidelines. All right, ladies and gentlemen, finished up the service call. Spent a little over an hour on site. We had a few issues pop up regarding the indirect water heater and that Armstrong, I think it's an Armstrong circulator, doesn't wanna <laughs> continuously and reliably, and reliably turn on and off as it's being told. Uh, and I only have one circulator on my truck, so that was it. If you live in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area, you can depend on my company, Pipe Doctor Home Services, to be there for you 24-6. We are closed on the Sabbath, which includes Friday night to Saturday night, okay? Unless you have a dire emergency and it's life or death, uh, we do not offer services on Saturday, which is the Lord's Day but we will leave no stone unturned when we do service you. And our normal service area is the Nassau County, a little bit of the Rockaways, some parts of Suffolk, but if you need some help, give us a call, 516-348-6300, or shoot me an email at mike at pipedoc.net. Thank you so much, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you and your family have a blessed, safe, and relaxing day. Thanks for watching.